course, measuring those trees can be very subjective, especially if you're talking about the height of the trees or, um, you know, how the people are interpreting what is there. This, this has so much yeah. room for, for improvisation. So in order to mitigate that, we use different types of technology. Why I always advocate for technology is because I don't say that it doesn't come with error. It always comes with error. Everything that we do comes with an error. The thing with technology, however, is that the error is very systematic. So if you manage to estimate that systematic error, you can always correct for it because it is across everything you do. It just repeats because of the cause of the error. When you talk about human error, that is not systematic. So one person can make one error and then the person next to him or her can make, using the exact same approach, can make a much different error, bigger or smaller. And that yeah. you, cannot, you cannot calculate, you cannot correct for. You just have to take as a given and you have to trust it. Yes, we have to deal with error. Error is part of life. It's something that comes with every single technique or measuring method. However, we have to make sure that we can correct for it. We know where it comes from and we can account for it as well. And if we have it systematically done, that we can do, that we can justify, that we can explain uh, and we can work with. And if it is not systematic, it's just an uncertainty that we cannot cover for.